Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast Special Edition Series where I preview and predict every men's college basketball conference tournament. This is the 23rd of 32 episodes, so we're down to the final 10, and this one's going to be the Big Sky, which is a fun conference to do, um, as that tournament will be starting on Wednesday, March 9th, and it'll take place at the Idaho Central Arena in Boise, Idaho, and no, that is not where Boise State plays, ironically enough. Um, so we're going to go through the seedings really quick. Um, your one seed is Montana State, um, 24 and 7 overall record, 16 and 4 in conference fight. Your two seed is Southern Utah, 20 and 10 overall, 14 and 6 in conference fight. Your three seed is Northern Colorado, 18 and 14 on the year, 13 and 7 in conference fight. Your four seed is Weber State. 20 and 11 on the year, 13 and 7 in conference play. Your five seed is Montana, 18 and 13 on the year, 11 and 9 in conference play. Your six seed is Eastern Washington, 17 and 14 on the year, 11 and 9 in conference play. Your seven seed is Portland State, 12 and 16 on the year, 10 and 10 in conference play. Your eight seed is Sacramento State, 10 and 17 on the year, 6 and 14 in conference play. Your nine seed is Idaho, 9 and 21 on the year, 6 and 14 in conference play. Your 10 seed is Idaho State, um, 7 and 22 on the year, 5 and 15 in conference play. And your 11th seed is Northern Arizona, 9 and 22 on the year, 5 and 15 in conference play. So everybody's participating in this. So that's fun. So it all begins Wednesday, March 9th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. 9th seed Idaho, 8th seed Sacramento State. Um, Idaho, um, pretty balanced team. They actually have a decent guard in Mikey Dixon at 16.9 points per game and another good guard in Trevante Anderson at 14 and a half per game. And then Sac State, um, they have a very good scoring guard in Bryce Fowler at 18.7 points per game. My projection here is Sac State by two and seven eighths, total of 145. So therefore, I have Sac State advancing past Idaho in the first round. Second of three first round games, 10 seed Idaho State and 7 seed Portland State. Idaho State, um, your typical not good team, two guys averaging double figure points per game. Terry Cool at 12.2 points per game, and Robert Ford the third at 10 9 a game. Um, Portland State, um, ten, five guys averaging double digit points per game. Um, James G. Marie at 12-9 a game, and Khalid Thomas at 12-4 a game are the two headliners here. My projection is Portland State by 3 and an eighth, total of 140 and 3 tenths, so therefore I have Portland State advancing past the first round. In the last of three first-round games, 11 seed at Northern Arizona and 6 seed Eastern Washington. Northern Arizona actually has a really good score on their team, too, and Jalen Cohn at 18.8 points per game. And Nick Mans is another decent scorer at 11-6 per game. Eastern Washington is not a bad team, I don't think. Um, very well balanced, led by Steel Venters at 16.4 points per game and Linton Achilles at 16.2 points per game. My projection here is Eastern by 7.5 total of 145 and a quarter, so therefore I have Eastern Washington advancing to the quarterfinals. So the quarterfinals Thursday, March 10th. Um, first four games, 18 Sac State, one seed Montana State. Montana State has been probably the best team in the conference all year. Balanced team, three guys averaging double figures per game. Xavier Bishop at 13-7 a game. Jabril Balo at 13.5 per game. And Amin Adamu at 11.5 per game. My projection here is Montana State by 11 and 7-8. So therefore, I have Montana State into the semifinals. Second of four quarterfinal games. Five seed Montana, four seed Weber State. This is a good game for a quarterfinal game in this conference. Um, three guys averaging double figures per game. Um, Josh Bannon, fifteen point two points per game, eight point two boards per game. Robbie Beasley at eleven eight per game, and Brandon Whitney at eleven a game. And Weber State, um, very deep, led by. Kobe McEwen, an 18.2 points per game. And they have three other guys averaging over 12 a game. Saiku Siosho, Jawara, J.J. Overton, and Dylan Jones. 
My projection here is Weber by three total one forty three and nine tenths. So therefore, I have Weber advancing. Third of four quarter final games. Seventeen Portland State and two seats Southern Utah. Southern Utah is a good team in this conference. Um, led by Tavion Jones at fourteen six per game. John Knight the third at fourteen point five points per game. Mason Fawcett at twelve one a game and Dre Martin at ten point two points per game. My projection here is Southern Utah by eight and three eighths, and my pro- and uh, I have Southern Utah into the semifinals in the last of four quarter final games. Six seed Eastern Washington and three seed Northern Colorado. Northern Colorado is pretty good. Um, they have one of the best scorers in the conference on their team in Dalen Kuntz at twenty point nine points per game. They also got a couple other decent scores in Matt Johnson at fourteen. Drew Cookshausen at 11-2, and Bodie Hume at 11-3 per game. My projection is Northern Colorado by 1.5, so therefore I have Northern Colorado into the semifinals. So semifinals is chalk. Um, four seed Weber State, one seed Montana State. Um, decent players all around. You got McEwen, Social Jawara, Overton, and Jones on Weber. And on Montana State, you got Bishop, Balo, and Adamu. But I think the supporting cast of Montana State is better than Weber's supporting cast. So, therefore, Montana State I've projected as a two and a half point favor. So, therefore, I have Montana State advancing to the championship game. And the second of two semifinal games on Friday, March 11th. Three seed Northern Colorado, two seed Southern Utah. Two really solid, key, solid teams. And Northern Colorado is the best scorer in this game in counts. And Southern Utah, I just think, has the more depth here. So I'm going to go with Southern Utah here to the championship. And as I have them projected as a three and a quarter point favorite. And then in the championship, Saturday, March 12th, six o'clock Pacific. 9 o'clock Eastern on ESPNU. Two seed Southern Utah, one seed Montana State. Both teams are super duper deep. Um, but lo and behold, like I said, I love these teams a lot. Either team could win this game, but I just like Montana State a little bit better. I have them projected by 1 and 5 eighths, and I think that Bishop, Balo, and Adamu will lead them to a Big Sky Tournament Championship and a ticket to the Big Dance. Um, Eastern Washington was actually in it last year. Um, Montana State made the championship game last year, and they've kind of carried that momentum into this year. And um, obviously the tournament last year got canceled because of COVID or else probably Eastern Washington would have won it. 2019 was Montana. Um, 2018 was Montana. 2017 was... North Dakota, as they were in that conference that year. And in 2016 was Weber State. So it'd be cool to see a different team win this conference tournament in Montana State. And some odds for you, courtesy of FanDuel. Um, Montana State is a plus 190 favorite. Southern Utah is plus 350. Um, at plus 450, we got... Or plus 410, Weber State. Northern Colorado is plus 550. Montana, Eastern Washington, reached 10 to 1. Portland State's 48 to 1. Sac State's 80 to 1. Idaho State's 110 to 1. Idaho State's 220. And then Northern Arizona's 500. But if I had to go with a long shot pick to win this conference tournament, I'm going to go with. Actually, Northern Colorado plus 550 would be my long shot. I really do like Kuntz as a scorer. Kuntz. Kuntz, or I don't know how you pronounce that name. I think it's Kuntz. Kuntz. I don't know. But he's a good scorer, and I think that they could potentially steal this tournament. But I'm going to go with my actual pick would be Montana State plus 190, but my long shot choice would be Northern Colorado. So there you have it for the Big Sky. And next up is a big one, the Big Ten.